Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, I'm Peter and this is... Yin. Yin and I have lived and grown up here for almost all our lives. We've made a video about essential things to know before visiting New Zealand, which covers points like how our seasons are opposite to the Northern Hemisphere and which side of the road to drive on and that sort of thing. Yeah, but we figured there's a bunch of other everyday random facts that might surprise you if you're not from here. And who knows, it may even surprise some Kiwis too. Even though Kiwi is a nickname for New Zealanders and it's also the name of our cute native national bird, Kiwi fruit aren't actually native to New Zealand. They're originally from China, but they are grown commercially here. There's heaps of slang here in New Zealand. Jandals are flip-flops, togs are swimwear, and sweet as has multiple meanings. It could be cool, awesome, or no, no problem. problem. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of uh, slang here in New Zealand, eh? Hey. Hey, that's another one that often confuses people. Yeah, it's got a lot of different meanings depending on pitch and tone, but generally it means right or you know. You know. <laughs> Kiwis are generally kind-hearted and agreeable, so often we don't really like to outright say no, so sometimes it's said in an unclear way. So like, not really, you're not sure, and very often you'll hear, yeah, yeah nah. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of means like, I hear you, but no. <laughs> yeah, and though English is the predominant language here in New Zealand, there are two official languages, Te Reo Māori and also New Zealand Sign Language. A lot of place names around New Zealand are in Māori, so like Taupo, Tauranga, Whangarei, and so it can be a little tricky with pronunciation if you're not used to it. And often names are interchanged between their Māori and English names, so like Mount Egmont, Mount Taranaki, or Auckland, Tamaki Makoto. It's common these days to hear Maori phrases used in greetings, especially on the news and sometimes even in everyday conversation, even by non Maori people. Like, kia ora, bro. And the longest single word place name in the world is here in New Zealand. Okay, so it is Taumatafakatani Hangako O O O Tamatea Turipu Kaka Piki Monga Horo Nuku Pokai Fenua Kitanataku. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, that's impressive! We shot that a while back, but guys, Yen can still recite this. I challenge you. Go on. Do it as fast as you can. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's just as impressive the second time around. <laughs> Speaking of world records, New Zealand does hold a few others. You'll find the steepest residential street in Dunedin, and it's even got a Guinness World Record. The world's smallest penguins can be found here, aptly named Little Penguins. And the world's smallest dolphins as well, the Hector's dolphin. Very cute. And also, did you know the world's first commercial and legal bungee jump was born in New Zealand by AJ Hackett down in Queenstown? Have any of you guys tried bungee jumping before? Peter did one over in Taupo a little while back. But... <laughs> oh man. Okay, the camera up on. Up here, bro. Okay, hands up, up high. Chin on your chest, bro. Oh my god! Oh man, that was so scary! There are 13 national parks in New Zealand. In fact, almost a third of the country is a protected national reserve. And often regional parks here in New Zealand, especially in Auckland, don't have rubbish bins. So you need to take all your food and waste along with you as you're heading out of the park. Food scraps can take years to break down and they feed predators like stoats, mites, mice and rats. And so even though you might think that chucking an orange peel or an apple core is harmless, it's not. There's shoe scrubbing stations when entering and exiting Kauri forest, which helps to prevent the spread of Kauri dieback disease. So you've got to scrub your footwear and disinfect it 
to help stop that spread. And when you think of beaches, you often think white sand or gold sand, which New Zealand does have plenty of, but we've also got the very unique black sand beaches as well. You can find a bunch of them along the west coast, but on a hot sunny day, you gotta be careful because that sand really burns the feet. Smoking is increasingly rare in New Zealand, so it's prohibited to smoke in any hospitality venues or indoor workplaces and public transport, of course. And that legislation came into effect many years ago, but I still remember how great it was being able to go out to a restaurant and have a meal and not get the smell of smoke stuck yeah. in our hair and clothes and of course the whole not suffering the negative side effects of secondhand smoke. Yeah and single-use plastic bags are banned from New Zealand in most stores as well as grocery stores as well so if you do go grocery shopping you need to remember to bring your own reusable bags or alternatively you can still purchase paper or yeah, cloth, cloth bags. bags in the grocery stores. Speaking of plastics though we've got some pretty cool bags notes here in New Zealand. They're printed on a polymer, which is a type of polypropylene plastic, which makes them incredibly difficult to tear <laughs> in half. But if you've got a tiny little cut on them, try not to tear at them because it will slice right through. Yeah, even though cash is pretty cool here, most New Zealanders will pay for everyday things with electronic bank cards or digital payments. There was an RBNZ survey that showed that 85% of New Zealanders will use electronic bank cards as their main form of payment. And we've got GST here in New Zealand and it's included in the final ticket price. So there's no figuring out what your final cost is going to be. Yeah, I really don't like how in some countries the sticker price isn't what you're actually supposed to pay and so it's really confusing. And checks, almost non-existent in New Zealand, most banks no longer issue or accept them here. And since we're on the topic of banknotes, on every single one of the different banknotes that you'll find in New Zealand, you've got a really cool New Zealand iconic person. So right here on the $5 one, we've got Sir Edmund Hillary, who was the first person to climb Mount Everest along with Tenzing Norgay. But interesting fact, this mountain right over here is not Mount Everest. That is actually Old Aki Mount Cook. Cook. And on the $10 note, you've got Kate Shepherd, an iconic figure in the women's suffrage movement. Her efforts in gathering 30,000 signatures for parliament led to the establishment of universal suffrage, meaning... New Zealand became the first self-governing country in the world to allow all women the right to vote in 1893. I remember reading about how she unrolled this 270 meter long petition of signatures in parliament to a dramatic effect, which I thought was pretty cool. New Zealand's even had three female prime ministers in its history, starting with Jenny Shipley, then Helen Clark, and even our current prime minister, Jacinda Ardern. NZ is an island country, so there's no surprises that you can get amazing fresh seafood here. Oysters, crayfish, scallops, mussels, Ooh. snapper, salmon. But abalone is known as paua here. And kina is a delicious sea urchin, which is endemic to New Zealand. And just like how you might associate pizzas with New York, you can associate meat pies with New Zealand. And even though pizzas weren't originally created in New York, meat pies weren't created here in New Zealand either, but they are a people's favorite. You can find them in almost every bakery, cafe, dairy, and even at the petrol stations. There's even an award dedicated to finding the master meat pie of the year, the Supreme Pie Awards. There's a lot of British influence on food here in New Zealand due to the early settlers, case in point, meat pies. And there's of course traditional Māori kai. But over the years, many cuisines have popped up. So in the bigger cities especially, you can easily experience a ton of amazing ethnic international cuisines. Last random thing that we'll leave you with, and some of you might be familiar with the notorious debate between Australia and New Zealand on who invented <laughs> the pavlova first. Well, there is another controversial item and that is the flat white coffee. And it's all started when Starbucks put the item on their US and Canadian menu and said that it was invented in Australia. Wait, what? This didn't sit well with Kiwis though, who believe that it was perfected and created right here in New Zealand. Coffee and cafe culture is strong here, and so it's really easy to get a good cup of coffee. And a flat white is probably the most popular hot beverage. So whichever side of the ditch invented it, if you ever find yourself stuck for which coffee to order, go for a flat white. We hope you enjoyed our list. Let us know which one of these things surprised you the most. And if you're a Kiwi, I'm sure we've missed a bunch of things. So. <laughs> 
add what you want to this. <laughs> and if you're not from New Zealand but you have visited here before, was there anything that surprised you during your time here? We'd love to hear it. As always, if you can, please help our channel out by liking, sharing and subscribing. We'll catch you all next time. See you everybody. The negative effects of secondhand smoke. Yeah, and supermarkets. Damn <laughs> 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 it!